A follow up now to a story we reported last night. A Sangamon County woman accused of neglecting her animals is facing possible jail time. Neighbors say they're concerned she is not providing adequate food and shelter. But tonight, what she says about it all. ABC News Channel's Lindsay S. live in studio to tell us just that. Lindsay. Chantel, Rachel Hill is currently living in Springfield but has property near Dawson where she keeps a pony, chickens, and two dogs. This past November, Hill took in a horse that died soon after. Neighbors believe it starved to death, but Hill says otherwise. Just a warning for parents, some young children may find a few of these images disturbing. I tried to help a sick animal and this is what I get. Charged with three counts of a Class B misdemeanor by the Sangamon County State's Attorney's Office, Rachel Hill says she took in a free horse that had been rescued and was severely underweight before it died three weeks later. I took in a horse that was very sick and underweight and all I did was try to help her. You know, she was just so far gone, nothing I did was able to save her. But neighbors disagree. Some even feeding Hill's animals worried they will die too. I've been feeding the pony and the chickens for um, two months since November, since uh, that horse was uh, starved to death. Hill was charged for not providing adequate food, shelter or treatment for her horse. Right now, there is an open investigation by the Sangamon County Sheriff's Department and the Department of Agriculture into whether or not she is neglecting her other animals as well. well that information will be, will be reviewed, and if additional charges need to be filed, uh, they will be filed by this office. But Hill says she is providing her animals with everything they need, and although she doesn't live on the property, she still stops by every day. They have shelters, and all their food and water are inside the shelters to keep them in the shelters when it's cold outside. And Hill says she's defending herself until the bitter end. And when I go to court, I'm going to fight it to the fullest. There are also two dogs living in the trailer on Hill's property. Neighbors tell us they are concerned that it doesn't have electricity or heat. But Hill says the trailer has both and the dogs are warm and well fed. Chantel. Thank you, Lindsay. And Ms. Hill tells us that on Friday, the Department of Agriculture stopped by to investigate. She says their only request was to add heaters to the animal's water, and she has complied.